All right, checking out a Toyota store. You'd think that uh, Toyota went bankrupt if you didn't know better. There's a couple cars here, but not much. Zero back there, those all on plates. So I don't know if that's a loaner fleet or rentals or something. These are some used vehicles. I don't even have that many used vehicles, so I'm not sure if the... I, I would guess this is mostly trade-ins. I think they would uh, go pick some up at auction. Just have something to do. I would think your salespeople still have to get paid. Not sure what else they're supposed to do. Oh, serious so curb rash on the rims there. Red interior, let's see how many miles. 53,000 miles. Looks like 34,000 miles. So let's see. I'm not sure if those prices are supported by that many cars on the lot or if the uh, resale would really be that high, like it's cheaper to buy that. Well, I mean it's cheaper, but how much cheaper to buy that over a uh, new one. Oh, I'll skip the Ford since it's the Toyota lot. I've always liked the Tacomas. Oh, no, they just seem fun. That just looks like a plastic bed. Cloth interior steel roof. Moving the rims. I don't want to like these squared off front ends. Oh, we can't even see them. Little sticker in there. Big thing is, yeah, there's a little sticker there. Paper lined out. Zero two. So, did they trade in on a Toyota or what is this here? Got a leather seat, black with gray inserts. I like blue, but uh, I always feel like it's gonna, I'm gonna get pulled over or something because it's bright and pretty. Let's see, 2023, so pretty new. It's at $74,000. Only 6,000 miles on it, but still a wall. And why did somebody trade it with only 6,000 miles? What's wrong with it? 48,000 miles. I don't see 4,000 miles. Same thing. Yeah, Toyota on the Toyota lot. That SX, not sure what that one is. $50,000, 28,000 miles. Cloth and tear, nothing special. Guess you could buy one of these, plan to drive it for a long time. Looks like something's leaking out of it. Oh, maybe from the other side of it. Hey, what's this? Is that the uh, Land Cruiser? I know, after the FJ Cruisers have been such a collector's item, you would think this is going to be the next Toyota collector's item. Look how the tires look. The gold tough with the something splatter on the side of it. See. This is made in Japan. I like the dark interior. I always like dark interiors. Kind of square males. Mirrors seems like that's kind of what the FJ had. I see this is locked. Kind of a long gas cap for gas filler. Well, the glass must open separately. I Force Max. I don't know if that's some sort of hybrid system. 23 miles to the gallon. Land Cruiser FE. No oh, hybrid wagon, no. $76,000. Running boards look like they uh, are kind of off. I don't know if that's like a rock crawler or if that's like something that flips down. Something strained on the mud flaps there, like it's got a hold down strap. One mirror's folded in, one mirror isn't, so I don't know if it's a manual fold. I don't know, this is kind of interesting. I'm looking for something to drive and retain value, this just might be it. Well, I don't know about that price point, but probably going to be sought after longer. Did not realize that was in a hybrid. Oh, look at the cover over the hitch. 
Oh yeah, that back um, on flaps got some sort of strange hold on on it. All right, huge truck block kind of spaced out. But they've only got four of them. So I'm gonna assume these are new. TRD, Toyota Race and Development, turd. I always thought they could have a, something that sounded better. Plastic bed, at least you don't have to leave a bed liner. Although it could shatter, I guess. I see 57,000, that used one was 50. I mean, some options different. 19 miles to the gallon. See, that seems like you'd get better mileage with that turbo six cylinder. Small. Looks like we're gonna pull in a trailer half the time anyhow, so if I even bother with the pickup, just get on the SUV. But depends on how many kids and dogs you have, I guess. This looks like a capstone. A little more expensive. Looks like it's got a sunshade. <laughs> I don't know about that white on the seats. Seems like I would stain that up. Pick up to do work, or is it a pick up to look pretty? My first max, 20 miles to the gallon. $80,000. Oh, that used Chevy was close to this. Probably has to pick a bed. Not sure on a towing capacity comparison to Chevy and Toyota. Quite often, the different manufacturers kind of make it so it's the same. They're comparable, so you can compare models. Like they're always competing with each other. In Texas. Oh, it's like, it must be like a ventilated leather because it looks like these little perforations and then there's other colors underneath. Cute design. 62,000. It's got a sun out. Wow, the game is kind of a big deal. Here's the sport. No, oh, white one. Never liked white because living in the Rust Belt, those ones showed rust first. Made in Texas. Yeah, same dark leather interior. I think the interior is nice. This isn't an i4 Smax, and it looks like it's only one mile per hour different or mile gallon difference. It's still over 60,000 for pickup. All right, that's the pickups. Wow, this whole section. It's on the old guy. I remember when this lot was full. This dealer must be here 20 years at least moved from uh, about 30 miles away. It used to be in another town. This was a water park back in the day. Although I guess before that, I remember coming here when this was a farm. Now it's uh, all Menards built on one side. Many years ago, they would do fireworks over this field. There's a man-made lake not far away. Oh, Tacoma, what's this doing over here? Not by the trucks. I'm 21, you think it'd get a little better mileage, it's cheaper, but not much of a gain in mileage. Never owned a Tacoma, but I hear the uh, acceleration's not great and the uh, backseat legroom's not great, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty much a fun vehicle. Rev4. These have really gained popularity. Made in Canada. I didn't realize that. The rims. Ah, roll SUV has really become the thing. 29 miles to the gallon. 
going more and more with the hybrids. It's 35. Uh, I, Toyota's going more and more with the hybrids. So what can get better mileage? This looks pretty plain. Little Corolla. This should get 34. 34, this must not be hybrid. But only 26,000 for brand new. Although I say only 24. Some of my older cars. I wish they got 34. Sorry, I wish they got 34. Yeah, this looks like a crown. Put your crown a little. I don't know if that's a hatchback or a little trunk. It looks like a little trunk. I don't see that that glass opens. Almost looks like it says Chef there. It's just HEV. Crown Limited. A denim color. 41 miles to the gallon. $50,000. Seems like a lot for a car that can't even tow a boat. Other seats, kind of here around town. Sits up a little bit. I kind of like the big sedan. If you're in my 50s, the big sedan is the thing. Uh, what is this, a Benza? Looks like the uh, Lexus. Benzo. Look at those tail lights to go. Reminds me a lot of those little Lexus SUVs. I don't know if they have a sticker on this one. Kind of lighter interior. This is kind of all that's here. You can serve this over on the side. Maybe there's a couple in the showroom, but not much to look at at Toyota. Cut this off. Thank you. 